as a prophetess i've got the gift of seeing i'm not just a prophetess i'm a priestess of dreams so my one of my seven gifts is receiving dreams and seeing what i see and being a prophetess i do see what i see i'm currently working on this painting of a very important historical figure in um, britain and her name was nan boleyn whom today is called anne boleyn um, this woman all her images were destroyed hence i am doing what i'm doing according to what yahoo has shown me this woman's paintings every image of her was destroyed by the edomites they made sure that there is nothing that resembled her true self and then they started retelling her story as an edomite woman and after 400 years of um, the edomites having power in this world the the tide is, turn, is turning history is now everything is changing and history is now being retold as the prophetess this is what i have seen and this is going to be the first official um painting of nan Berlin. every stone is going to be turned in this country and it starts with retelling the true stories of women like nan Berlin who suffered in the hands of edom and their blood continues to cry from the ground this woman actually visits me as the prophetess and she wants her story to be retold and the truth to be known that she was black and she wasn't an Edomite and she died in the hands of Edom. Now this painting is the true image of Nan Berlin. It is indeed a very sacred, powerful painting. When I was painting it, I was literally in a trance. I would see my son Chaka, and it was as though Chaka was speaking to me, telling me what it is I need to depict, because he is the Holy Grail. This painting is very special because, as you can see, it's got a snail on it and then it's got a woman with her breast and milk coming out of the woman. It represents a mother, it represents fertility. Um, snails are very fascinating creatures, they're very slow, yet they've got a shell. Um, the shell protects them from danger and the shell actually is what gives them long life They just hide in their shell and you even think that the snail is dead when you're walking You can even kick it and think it's dead, but it will be alive for me doing this painting It was also just very personal me as a mother What I've had to enjoy as a mother having my children taken from me given to enemies who don't even love them but this is not just the story of me, it's actually the story of Israel, the story of Kubala. Sometimes we feel like, where is the God of Israel in all this? Why should we suffer like this? But for over 400 years, Israel has been in captivity. But Israel is like a little snail. I collect snail and I study snails. I've got like six snails right now in this house. I keep them and sometimes you think the snail is dead. Then one day it just surprises you, it comes out of his shell, it starts walking around, it, it looks so happy. That is the long life of Israel. When you think all oh, hope is gone, that's the life of Israel. Uh, we may think that everything is taking so long, when is this rebirth happening? When are we going to be free from Edom and this cruelty? But we have a shell that protects us, even though we may be kicked about and People may think we are dead, we are gone, and there is no sight of life in Israel. Then one day we're just going to emerge out of the shell, and it will be a new story. So that is the depiction of this painting. Long life to Israel. This is a very sacred painting which depicts the emblem of the northern kingdom of Kubala. 
as you can see there are two lions one is a very older lion with a darker mane um, and the other one is a younger lion with obviously a golden younger mane and these two lions depict the rebirth of Israel the merging of the old and the new okay and this older lion also resembles my own father um, Nevagasha the chief and this younger lion also resembles my lord husband King Atihiram um, it's like the merging of the old and the new and it also resembles my son Chaka and also this older lion represents also my lord husband King Atihiram that is the mystery of um, storytelling and artwork in the Northern Kingdom. The rebirth of Israel is always spoken of by the prophets as the rising up of the seed of David. We know David was a king from the tribe of Judah, so he was like a lion. And we are told in so many prophecies that this lion is going to rise up again at a time where it seems so impossible. And that is what this emblem is all about that after the reign of Edom where black people have been told you are nothing you can never do anything in life you don't you have never had any civilization where so many lies have been told the God of Israel is about to do something very marvelous on this earth um, Israel is actually being reborn as we speak in the northern kingdom the seed of David is literally here as we speak 